The new National Geographic docuseries Stanford Prison Experiment The Untold Story gives an up-close and personal look into the lives of the prisoner and guards who took part in the 1971 Stanford Prison Experiment. And today, I am delighted to be joined by director and executive producer Juliet Eisner. Juliet, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks. Yes. So for our viewers, can you just give a brief synopsis of the docuseries? Yes, so I think a lot of people have probably heard of the Stanford Prison Experiment, whether they studied it in high school or in college or in military courses. Um, and it's a very compelling story, you know? It's a story about these kids. Half of them are prisoners, half of them are guards. The guards turn on the prisoners, become abusive and cruel. Um, and it's supposed to tell us something about ourselves. It's supposed to really teach us about human nature and good versus evil. And um, what the show does is essentially allow the people who actually participated in this thing to tell their side of the story, to tell, talk about what they experienced. And what we learn is that it really puts to question this narrative that we've, you know, learned and believed to be true. So um, as one of the guards says, you know, you think you know, but you really have no idea. And that's very much the case in in, in this show. Yes. Um, well, and I was so intrigued because, yes, I learned about it in high school. But why is it necessary to hear, you know, the, the real-life accounts of the Stanford prison experiment from the prisoners and the guards that took part in the experiment? Oh, I mean, it changes the whole story. When you listen to these people's, you know, experiences, you start to realize that a lot of details were left out of Zimbardo's narrative. Zimbardo is the creator of, of the Stanford Prison Experiment. Um, and we start to learn that, you know, not everything is as, as, is as it seems, um, that there was a lot of manipulation, that the researchers were kind of tipping the scale and, you know, really like digging their hands into this study in a way that maybe they shouldn't have. You start to realize that, um, perspective really does matter in this case. And why do you think it's taken more than 50 years, you know, for someone to approach the participants, um, you know, to give their real life accounts? Like, why has it taken so long? You know what? I ask myself that question all the time. It's yeah. kind of shocking. You know, I think there have been people who have definitely poked holes in the study. Um, there are a bunch of researchers who have done incredible work around this. Um, but, you know, Zimbardo had a very compelling story and he became worldwide famous and is very well known. And nobody really wanted to push, in my opinion, nobody was, you know, wanted to push up against this story because we had all accepted it to be true. Um, but OK, very fun. Against the story, oh, I was you. I was just jaw on the floor. Like 50 years, no one's talked to these people. Um, okay, and final question is, you know, what is something you'd like viewers of this docuseries to take away? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, this isn't just a typical debunking of a story. I think that we do that to a certain extent. Um, we're going to definitely question a lot of the narrative that we've, you know, come to believe to be true. But what I really want and hope that people take away is that, um, you know, there is a lot of power in being a very good storyteller. And if you can tell a story that has a very catchy headline, um, people are just going to kind of take it um, as truth. And it's important to question those stories mm -hmm. and to allow all people in a given narrative um, to really speak up and have their say. Um, and perspective in this one really does matter. Yeah. Okay, I lied. L not last question. If you could use one word to describe the John Wayne guard today, because he seems so sweet, what would that word be? Performer. Perform he is a performer through and through. He is such a talented man and so lovely and, uh, you know, not as scary uh, in person as he's maybe made out to be in this study. That's awesome. Julia, thank you so much for your time. And everyone watching, you can stream the Stanford Prison Experiment, Unlocking the Truth now on National Geographic, Disney Plus, and Hulu.